Well, thank you, George. The environment at one point in time on Mars was able to support microbial life. But you look at the Mars today, it's cold, it's dry. And we want to know what happened. We see that Mars has actually quite an inventory of ice, water ice. What we want to do is understand where did the water go? Where did the carbon dioxide from an early thick atmosphere go? There are two places it can go. It can go down into the crust where it can get locked up, but we don't see the evidence for widespread abundant carbon bearing minerals in the abundance necessary to be a reservoir for that thick early atmosphere. The other place these could have gone is up to the top of the atmosphere where they could be stripped away and lost to space. The removal process would involve forcing by the sun from uh, solar wind, from solar extreme ultraviolet photons, from light waves, uh, from solar storms that might strip away gas from the top of the atmosphere. MAVEN is all about trying to understand these loss processes, understand what could have happened at the top of the atmosphere and how gas could have been removed from it. We've selected eight instruments, nine sensors, so, so there are nine. We don't know the whole range of processes yet, but as we're starting to discover more and more planets outside our solar system and see Earth-like planets and ask about whether there could be life on those, we want to understand what makes a planet habitable and what makes a planet go from being habitable to not being habitable. So I see this as, as a much broader mission than just exploring the Mars upper atmosphere today and learning about the history of the climate, but that's where we start because those are the questions that we get the first answer to. You have had its atmosphere protected somewhat by its magnetic bubble uh, of a relatively strong internal field, but Mars only has very localized uh, remnants.